Merci énormément de nous recevoir, Phil. C'est un vrai plaisir de vous retrouver. Thank you so much for being with us today. It's such You're a welcome. pleasure to see you again. Such a pleasure. For moi aussi. You speak French also. I forgot. Uh, I don't, I'm going to speak French now. I don't have enough. I don't have enough practice. You should. That's a nice language, don't you? Yes, I, 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 when, I, when I do these shows, I will be. Okay, good. Wait, well, yeah, we, we, we will talk about this again. Yeah. Uh, toute première chose, j'ai vu Sting la semaine dernière, et il voulait vous dire que vous lui manquiez profondément, que vous manquiez à tout le monde, et qu'il attendait avec impatience de votre, votre retour. F first of all, I saw Sting last week. We were together for a show, and uh, I asked him if he had something to tell you, and he just said, "Please come back soon. We see you a lot." Peut-être que vous vouliez lui dire aussi un mot. Maybe you want to tell him something also. Oh, he said that. Yes, he did. Was it so nice? Um, you know, he is uh, someone I guess now I've known for 32 years. Um, we did the Band Aid single. That's when I met him, mm -hmm. and. Uh, Actually, before that, we'd played together at the Secret Policeman um, when he was young and very handsome. You know, <laughs> very handsome. Well, he's still young. He's still handsome, and he's ain't, you know he's not so young, but he's still we still envy him. But no, he's lovely, and I, you know if, if you see him, you send you say that I was very touched, and um, please give him my love. And you know what is good is like he, he, he say please come back soon. You do come back now, and that's the big news. C'est ça la grosse nouvelle, c'est qu'on va commencer par cette nouvelle qu'on a annoncée sur RFM, celle qu'on attendait depuis très longtemps, quasiment 12 ans. Vous allez remonter sur scène, ça sera le 18 et 19 juin prochain avec RFM. Qu'est-ce qui vous a décidé? Uh, let's talk about the news, the huge news we had, like you know, this week, uh, the one we waited for so long for 12 years. It will be 12 years next year, so, you know. Uh, you'll be on stage. We'll be in France also for two days in Paris uh, with RFM. What made you de decide? this and why waiting so long well I just I didn't want to do it anymore um, I, when I retired I retired to be with my kids uh, and that was on the final farewell tour I decided that you know Orianne was pregnant with Matthew Nicholas was very young I just wanted to go home and be a dad And uh, as bad luck would have it, you know, the, we had problems, Orianne and I, at that point, and so we separated, um, which was okay. But and then then they lived to my move to Miami, and when that happened, my life, the priorities in my life changed. Mm. Then I, I had to go to Miami uh, every two weeks. Um, I couldn't do it every week. I just went every two weeks. And sometimes I went to New York first. So I have an apartment. And I go from New York to Miami. I got, I got to know the hotel very well. <laughs> you know, I did it for two or three years. And um, then, then Orianne and I decided to... We wanted to get back together again. And that was a lovely story, and it meant that I was with my kids. Now, by this point, I mean, I, you know, the older kids, I've got five kids, but right. the, the older kids, right. the, 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 they take care of themselves, they're great. Um, by this point, Nicholas had become a, a very good drummer, a great drummer. And Matthew had become a great footballer. And, and uh, they were urging me to do something. Why? Pourquoi? Well, because, you know, I mean, one of the things they used to do in the car was put my music on, you know. <laughs> we, had a li we had a live CD from Tampa, mm -hmm. you know, right? and they said, Daddy's music. Okay, so <laughs> and, and, and they enjoyed it very much. You and should be I lucky, though, because they are very proud of you. You should be very happy because they are very Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm very lucky. And and they 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 like the Genesis over Europe, you know the live album that we put out after the reunion. So slowly they started to, you know, softly pressure Dad into doing something. And I, you know, the, 
now I was living with them, I started to think this is possible if we do it sensibly. Mm -hmm. So we booked some shows, you know, mm -hmm. three weeks is what we've booked. Really? A week in London, a week in Paris, and a week in Cologne. You know. mm -hmm. That's the story, that's the full story. And you had also some problems, you know, uh, health problems. Yeah. Is it better now? You feel better now? I think so well, you yeah, I feel better, yeah. I mean, it's, um, you know, this yeah. is still a bit of a problem. Mm -hmm. um, and I had back surgery last year, which was successful. But it left me with a, a numb foot, drop foot, mm. in English. It's, it's you can't lift it or mm. lower it, and you can't wiggle your toes. It's numb. So that I, you know, I'm hoping. In the big picture of life, I'm hoping that that will turn out okay. But I'm fine. Yeah, I'm fine. You look fine. Thank you very much. C'est trop trop bien. Uh, you, you talk about Nicholas, the, the this good drummer. Uh, votre fils sera à côté. On, on parlait de Nicolas, votre votre fils qui joue de, de la batterie. Uh, your son will be with you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I have to add that Simon, my oldest son, is a is a fantastic drummer as well. Mm -hmm. So it's nice to know that it's you know genetic. But but. Um, He has his own career, and I'm very proud of him. But Nicholas started very, very young, like I did, and he's developed very quickly into a, being a fantastic drummer. And so uh, about a year ago, we started to think about doing a, a charity show. And, you know, Nick was going to play drums on one or two songs, and, and eventually uh, he... He um, he was so good that we just added a few more songs, and and we did this two charity, well three actually, one in Miami in March, and then we did two in Switzerland in June, and and the you know people like Daryl Sturmer who's been playing with with me in Genesis, he came off stage and said, man, he played good. <laughs> so, and I was listening and I was hearing me. I was, you know, his heroes are, are John Bonham, uh, Chad Smith, and me. Cool. And so they're all kind of aggressive drummers, you know. And he has the attitude. So, uh, yeah, it, you know, I had to go and see the headmaster at school <laughs> uh, to see about homework, you know, this <laughs> kind of thing. Because he's going to be 16 when he plays drums, but, you know, it's going to be... Still going to be at school, so. That that and son together on stage, that's cool. Uh, J'imagine que vous allez chanter uh, certains, enfin tous vos tubes, mais aussi ce Genesis. I imagine you'll sing all. I mean, maybe, maybe not your all, uh, your hits, but a lot of your hits and Genesis one, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. You have any yeah. idea already? Que vous avez déjà yeah, yeah. We started planning a while ago, okay. um, because I mean we announced it, but we've been talking about it, you know. I've had meetings with our stage designer, Patrick Woodruff, who does the Olympics, he does the Stones, he does, you know, Adele, he, you know, he's done me for a long, long time, mm -hmm. and Genesis. So, um, we've just been dis just discussing how to, to do it. I'm not quite as mobile as I was, um, but I think, although it's not tied with the book, Uh, the Not Dead Yet Live, um, you know, kind of slightly humorous. I think it will be slightly autobiographical, the show. Okay. You know, the story of your life through your songs. Yeah. I mean, not, not strictly, okay. but, but partly. Cool. Okay. Qu'est-ce qui, qu qui vous a manqué, Phil? Uh, Qu'est-ce qui vous a manqué le plus, en fait, uh, de ne pas avoir été sur scène? Uh, D'ailleurs, est-ce que ça vous a vraiment manqué? What, what did you miss maybe the most, if you missed something? <laughs> During all that time, you didn't do well, music. Well, uh, it's interesting. I understand your question, as you say in French, which is a good, <laughs> which is a good sign. <laughs> um, but but I but I will say that that uh, I mean the thing you miss if you've done it all your life is I got to say is the applause, the adrenaline, the adrenaline. Uh, of doing it but people at the end of it saying that was great you know 
Vous avez, on parle, on a, we will talk about the book after, on va parler du, du bouquin yeah. après. Euh, vous avez aussi sorti une compilation de trois euh, CD, ça s'appelle The Singles. Euh, vous allez sortir cette autobiographie, cette autobiographie note d'Adiat, euh, pas encore mort en français hein, pour, le, pour traduire en fait le, dans le texte. Euh, pourquoi une autobiographie euh, puisque vous êtes encore bien là. I mean, the, the thing for me is that to stress is that the book is is, is a standalone thing. Mm -hmm. It's it's nothing to do with the we take a look at me now. But the book, not dead yet, was was because a lot has been made of my health, mm -hmm. um, and it was a black humor joke, you know, English humor, and. Which I have, I, I have to explain everywhere, um, except for England, as to why it's funny. Mm. But it's, uh, it also means to me that Not Dead Yet still things to do. And when I wrote it, I was still unsure about these shows, you know, whether I would do the shows or not. Um, you know, yes, we are doing them, we've announced them. But the but the thing was meant to be funny, nothing to do with losing Bowie or losing Prince, mm. you know, you know, like I'm not dead yet. Nothing, right, right. nothing to do with that. Vous vouliez partager quoi en fait? What did you want to share really with your with the people? There's I've I've read there's I've heard there's a lot of insecurity mm -hmm. in the book. I agree. Um, a lot of guilt, probably. True. And, and, and a, you know, a lot of probably facts, telling of telling of stories that are, in English, we say um, uh, de deprecating, mm -hmm. self-deprecating. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and that's that's the way I am. You know, I, you know, I know I've had a huge success. You know, I, I know. We took all that stuff out. Mm. You know, how long the album was, the number one, how, how many million. We took all that out in, in many, many places because it was just like a chart thing. What, what I think I wanted to, to put over was what it was like behind that. Yeah. You know, so there's just things to try to try to be honest about the background mm. that's the, I, I, I really loved your your book because uh since the beginning since uh, the beginning of the career i would say almost i i loved everything you did with genesis and solo and uh i think when we read this we know you now i know you right. you know it's like you're my friend when i read this because i know everything about that, you well, uh, uh, almost that, everything about that, uh, <laughs> I don't want to, to know more, though. But this is what I want. No, to but this this, this 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 is this is what you're supposed to. At the end of a, at the end of a book that you've written, autobiography, you know, you've got to feel like you know the person. Otherwise, this is why I have a problem with biographies, that it's it's third hand, and you know, uh, someone said and someone heard someone, and, exactly. and, and and this is. This is what I know, mm. you know, because I was there. Because <laughs> I was there, yeah. So. Sure. Vous avez donc sorti, on en parlait, le, 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 le best of singles, mais vous travaillez sur un nouvel, sur un nouveau projet. Do you, you, you just released the new yeah. singles, but do you have like any other more projects? Maybe a new album, new songs? Like no. No. I mean, uh, no. That's 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 a big. A giant leap for mankind that will be, <laughs> <laughs> okay. um, as far as I'm concerned. Mm. Yeah, you know, again, my my kids are encouraging me. You we know, do, we do too. We're not our kids, but please do. Yeah, uh, you know, and I've just got to now. I've done the book, and the book is finished. Uh, I feel like now, okay, now I have to get prepared for the shows. And if I can to maybe write some things. I mean, I've got some things that are almost finished, and I've got one thing that is finished. But it's you know, I've got to write. An, you know. All right. Okay, we'll we'll do that. Give me time. Okay, we will. Um, on revient un tout petit peu dans le passé rapidement. 
vous avez fait tellement de choses avec et sans Genesis, il y a des choses que vous feriez peut-être différemment. Uh, let's look very quick back, you know, just to go back a little. Uh, you've done so many things with Genesis or just by yourself. Uh, is there anything you would change? About what? No. In anything? Mm. In your career, well, though, I mean, I'm talking about musician way. I don't think so. Um... No, in, I mean in the big in the big stories about like personal relationships, would I change things? No, I've got five great children, five very talented, lovely children, and I wouldn't have five lovely, talented children if I if things hadn't gone the way they have done. So I I have to say no, you know, que sera sera. <laughs> Dernière question, last question. Uh, you almost worked with Adele. It, it didn't yeah. happen. Vous avez presque travaillé avec Adele, ça s'est pas passé. Uh, est-ce qu'il y aurait des, des, des gens, la relève en fait, et parmi ces, cette relève, qui est-ce que vous admirez, qu'est-ce que vous aimez uh, What do you think about new artists just, such as Adele or, or others And do you have any, some artists you like, you know, uh, maybe the most um. Yeah, occasionally, you know, like I met a couple of trips ago in London, I was, I just turned on some, you know, some music channel. And I heard two great songs by two great girls, different girls, wrote them down on my phone. Um, was it Zara Nesbit? Is that one? Zara what? Nesbit? Don't no. know her. Don't Zara. know her. No. Okay, no, uh, anyway, this was, a, this was a hit record, so obviously... Easy. But, um, but Adele, for example, I think is a huge, huge talent, I think. She knows what she's doing, and I was very flattered that she asked me to write with her. Uh, it didn't go anywhere because she was in a different place in her life. She was moving, she yeah. just had a baby, all kinds of reasons. I mean, and she apologized for it afterwards, which was nice. You know, in the press, not to me. Um, I've still not spoken to her for a while. But, but I, you know, I would always, if she calls again, I, I would love to, to work with her. Merci beaucoup pour être revenu avec nous. Thank you so much for being with us. You're welcome. And we wish you good luck and we'll be there, there in Paris for your shows, for your two shows. And we wish you will have a new album anyway. On espère avoir un nouvel album. Come on. We'll see. Merci. Two, two shows. And if people, if people buy the tickets, maybe there'll be more. Okay, good. Parfait. Merci. <laughs> All right.